Hi. So recently a friend of mine told me that success comes in cans. Success comes in cans because it doesn't come in cannots. And <laughs> thank you, that's the reaction I was going for. <laughs> and that is why my talk today is called The Confident Can. Um, I think uh, when I think of the phrase meaning of you or meaning of me, I think that me is just not me alone. It includes everyone, my family, my friends, everyone I meet, and they all, in, they all are a part of meaning of me. But I realized that as an adult, when I was in school, when I was a student, that's not what I thought. When I woke up in the morning, the first thought that came to mind was, I hope the teacher doesn't look at me today, because if she looks at me, I'm going to do something to embarrass myself. And in our PE lessons, every time we played sports, the only thing I thought of was, let this get done before it's my turn to face off with the opposite team. So confidence was something I didn't have, or I think I didn't hear of the word confidence when I was in school. Now, I'm standing here today talking about confidence, so believe me, it's achievable. And uh, it's been an interesting, but um, an ordinary journey. And with a lot of mental exercises and a lot of positive affirmations, I have made it this far. Then recently, I read an article and the author of the article has written The Secret to Confidence. And I am thinking, really, now, when I really needed this article, where was it, right? So <laughs> I just told myself, it's OK, Sakina. It's better late than never. So I'm, I would like to share with you what the author says about the secret of confidence. The secret to confidence is to stop thinking about how you present yourself, how people look at you, or what they are thinking of you. Now, this is easier said than done, right? But there is a second part to this as well, which makes a lot more sense. So I'm going to read this from the beginning. The secret to confidence is to stop thinking about how you present yourself, how, you, how people look at you, or what they're thinking of you. In fact, the secret to confidence is to change your mindset completely and focus entirely on the person or the people you are with. Now, this is what I gain from this, or this is what I understand, or this is what I interpret, is when we focus on the person or the people we are with, we don't think about impressing them. We don't think about being somebody we are not. We, we are ourselves. We are our natural selves because we are focusing on them. And being ourselves is what we do best. I don't think we can mess up being ourselves. You can mess up being someone else, but you really can't mess up being yourself. So, uh, I think that we present ourselves the best, and when we are trying to imitate someone, when we're trying to be somebody else, that's exactly what it is. It's an imitation. And in a way, we are settling for less. When you're settling for less, you're never sure whether it's going to work. And that is where our lack in confidence comes in. So I, again, I believe that being yourself is what you do best. Now, in today's day and world, we all feel that we won't fit in if we are ourselves completely. And you know, to be accepted, you need to be like the people you are with. So we can do that. It's OK to be able to change yourself. And it's a skill to adapt to the situation and the surroundings you are in. But while you are doing that, you should bring in a little bit of your own self, bring in a little bit of your own style. Um, I think uh, my emphasis here is that you shouldn't forget your own original style. It's um, an example that I could think of was that we all enjoy the sour cream and the barbecue flavors in the chips. But sometimes, if it's the original one, that really hits the mark. So, so be yourself. And going back to the message, I started being myself. I followed what the author said. And I am myself because that is what I do best. And it's been working for me. So my suggestion to you is the same. Be yourself because that is what you do best. And there is a very famous saying that only you can be yourself. And that is your superpower. So I will, end my, I will end my talk and leave you with one thought. It doesn't matter which can you are, as long as you are your own confident can. That's it. Thank you. <laughs>